Hello from Dallas, Texas. Uh, this is Cooper Johnson with a &L Imports. You're looking at a 2006 Special Edition Pacific Blue Hummer H2 Luxury Package and Adventure Package. 32, I'm sorry, 33,000 miles, original miles, one owner vehicle in just outstanding shape. We purchased it directly from the original owner and uh, we added a few things, the wheels, the tires, a few chrome uh, accents, and uh, but it is in just pristine condition. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little walk around with you and uh, I'll identify a few things um, and uh, as we go. So the wheels and tires, again, brand new. Uh, we've got 22 inch, Chrome wheels 22 by 12 with a negative 44 offset what the offset means is that if you look here they, they do stick out from the body um, that's kind of the current look and gives it a more muscular stance it is a little more stable as well um, but it's it's really about the look the tires are Nitto Ridge grapplers brand new um, 35 inch and um, they're outstanding tires. The reason why we use this particular model of tire is because it has the aggressive tread pattern, uh, but is not loud. Uh, no loud road noise, really quiet, and they last for a long, long time. Uh, let's get a good look at underneath back here. You can see everything's pristine, the frame rails, the suspension components, control arms, everything in super, super nice shape. There's no rust on this vehicle. Um, really, really nice. Some of the things that you'll notice about the, a special edition or limited edition, now keep in mind they only made 500 of these, so they made special editions every year from 06, 07, 08, and 09. There was 500 of these made. They also made 500 uh, in 06 in a different color, also uh, a special edition called Orange Fusion. Uh, but this is the Pacific Blue. Some of the distinctive elements of a special edition that you can tell just by looking. Um, the fender flares here are painted to match the vehicle. Along with, and it just goes all the way down with, with that rocker molding at the bottom. The steps, the side steps there, uh, we'll have a little cut out there in the rocker molding for the side steps, so there, it's a different step. You do get the, uh, the light bar at the top, which adds another uh, crossbar for the roof rack. And then on the Pacific Blue, you get some silver uh, contrasting components like this brush guard here, which is contoured to the grill. So the grill is painted, is color-coded Pacific Blue, and you've got the silver brush guard in the back you, you have um, the uh, silver tail light guards as well if you get a look down the side there's no door dings uh, no scrapes or scratches or scuffs uh, it's uh, it just really is in exceptional condition again there's the frame rail there's the sensor. So this component here is the sensor, uh, and there's one on each side in the back for the rear air suspension. The rear air suspension is part of the adventure package. Um, and when you have that and the luxury package, that means you've got uh, as loaded of an H2 as you could get uh, at that time. Uh, the luxury package includes the navigation, the, the rear DVD, um, all that stuff, and then the adventure package comes with that uh, air suspension. Those sensors, by the way, detect if there's a load on the back. If the back drops because you've got a trailer or a heavy load, it will rise up and level uh, the rear end. This one does have the tonneau cover, which is the bed cover. That's the OEM tonneau cover. Uh, mm -hmm. looks like there's a little water here. Uh, sorry for the, it's, it's, uh, it drizzled. I've been waiting all day for the sun to come out and it's never going to happen. So I decided to go ahead and do this video. Uh, but there is some water spots on the vehicle. 
Um, so anyway, this tonneau cover is the OEM tonneau cover. Uh, those are known not to last that long. We've seen a lot of them over the years. Uh, they get, especially when they're out bake, baking in the sun, they get warped and they just stop working really well. Um, this one is probably in the best condition I've seen in a couple of years. Uh, let me see if I can open it one-handed here. Yeah. So there's the tunnel cover. Let's look in the bed while we're here. Super nice and clean. It's just really fresh. All right, we'll close that. And you can see it's nice and straight. There's no warping or anything like a lot of them do. And there you go. This one does have a custom uh, aftermarket Gibson exhaust, dual exhaust. You'll see those pipes there. Um, with a cold air intake, which you'll see when we open the hood. Uh, so it does give it a lot more airflow. It does increase the horsepower a bit. And I'll, I'll tell you, sometimes you really don't feel the difference, but on this one, uh, I've driven it, it you, you do feel the difference and it, it's, it does feel like it's got some more, more power than, uh, than normal. Uh, so it's noticeable. As I mentioned before, you've got the silver uh, taillight guards that match the brush guard on the front uh, that came with the Pacific uh, Blue Edition. Again, let's look down the side. No door dings or anything like that. Even these steps, it's a little, got a little smudge there, but they're just in ex excellent shape. We'll look at the inside here in a little bit. Just wanted to finish the exterior. Uh, let me point out a few of the chrome components that we added to the vehicle, other than the wheels, of course. Uh, you've got the uh, the side marker light bezels with the H2 emblem, the side vents, and then the center hood vent here is all in chrome. Not too much. Uh, certainly you could go more if you wanted to. We can add more if you want us to. Um, but that's what we went with um, for now. Again, you'll see some water droplets here on the hood. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get some of this, uh, see if you can see the paint. The paint has some nice metallic and uh, and pearl flake in it in the sunshine it's easy to see i don't think you're gonna see it here with a cloudy day but uh, but it is beautiful a nice bright blue um, on the front here one last thing to note is the skid plate if you'll notice the skid plate, which is the uh, that bottom piece right under here. Let's see if I can get that in the... Where's the other? There's my finger. Right there. So they all have... that. They're aluminum. They have that embossed H2. This one has been painted blue, uh, the H2 portion, uh, to match the vehicle. And by the way, I don't think I've pointed out yet, the brake calipers have been painted blue as well. see that uh, you can see those in some of the in the pictures on on our website you'll see that blue uh, reflecting off of the chrome in some of the pictures okay so that's the uh, the exterior let's take a quick look at the hood and then we'll hop inside let's go ahead and unlatch the hood I still need to pop it Pop this side. All right. And there's the engine. So 
There's part of that cold air intake. The intake goes right there, runs over there to the filter, which is compartmentalized so that it, it's not getting the hot air, it's getting the cold, cooler air. There's the AEM brute force intake. Everything else in outstanding shape. Okay, so we'll hop inside. But that, as I do, I'm going to put the camera which is also my phone. I'm going to set it down over here while I start it so you can hear the exhaust. And then I'll uh and then I'll come grab it and we'll we'll get a look inside. So, I'm just going to set it right underneath here. I'll start it. <laughs> it's not going to work cuz I'm using my AirPod, so the microphone is on my AirPod. So that's not going to work. So let me start it and I'll come back so you can hear it. I've noticed the volume is a lot better when I use these, uh, these AirPods, so. Okay. Let's go over here. So it's not really louder, but it is throatier. Let's see if I can rev it and you can get a... So I would call it an, an understated aftermarket exhaust, so it's not, it's not over the top. Now some people want over the top, but this is not it. All right, let's hop in here. All right, first of all, so the miles, 33,535 on it at this moment. Um, the dash is pristine as you would expect it to be, no cracks or wear of any kind. Uh, another distinctive element of the limited editions is all of this trim, this piece here and then here, along with all this trim area here is, um, instead of just plastic, this is carbon fiber. Let me see if I can get you a close up here. There we go. So that's carbon fiber. Um, so this whole center console piece here Um, so let's start from the left side. You'll notice all the buttons are, are just in pristine shape. There's not, you know, a lot of uh, wear. The buttons aren't worn out uh, like a lot of them are. On these, a lot of these buttons will get worn out uh, over time, um, but these are in exceptional shape. Sometimes these fan buttons will get worn out. Again, not that that's a huge deal, but that just is uh, illustrative of the, the condition. Should have shown you the driver's seat. I'll show that to you. Let me go ahead and do that so you, I don't forget. So really good shape. 
certainly it's got some you know some minor creases in it but it's really really nice they all they all get that and then uh, same thing over here there's no you know rips or tears or anything like that no excessive wear by the way this piece here is all that's all that carbon fiber as well Headliner in great shape. Let's uh, let's look at the back here. So you've got your rear DVD. This is these are this is OEM. This is the way it came in the back of the headrest. The player is in the center console. I'll show that to you as well your rear vents you get heated seats in the rear and in the front seats are in great shape that over there is an air hose that you can use this one's never been used it's still in its orig original packaging usually we don't get these uh, with the vehicles but this one came with it and with the air suspension uh, you you have access you have a nozzle in the back of the bed on the other side on the passenger side that you can access and hook up that air hose and use it to air up whatever you need to air up uh, you've also we've also got the uh, the original headsets for the dvd system but as you can see everything in great shape the mats the carpet back of the seats We've got plastic here to cover the mats up here in front, but no stains or anything like that. All right, wow, we're at 17 minutes. Holy cow! Well, if you're still with me and you haven't shut off the video, let's take this thing for a quick spin and then we'll be done. seatbelt on okay So it feels nice and tight. It's, uh, it's not loose. Um, there's no rattles, no popping, you know, none of that noise, nothing coming from the suspension. The interior is nice and tight. The steering is t uh, nice and tight as well. And, uh, and it tracks straight. We are on a little bit of a slant on this road. Um, I'll let I'll let go you can see I'm not holding on to the steering wheel well, there you go <laughs> I got somebody coming at me anyway it's tracking nice and straight I'll kind of get on it on the way back here where there's fewer cars to in front of me I'm doing about 30 
And now I'm doing about 55. So, lots of power. The transmission feels good. Downshifts quickly. This is a great truck. Uh, this does have a, a, a tinted uh, eyebrow, which is right up here on the top of the windshield, uh, is some window tint that was not from the factory that way, which is this this right here, right up here. That can be removed if you don't like it. It's kind of nice. All right, we're back where we started. Some of our other Hummers. I'm just gonna park it. All right, let's hop out and get one more look at it, and then we'll be done uh, with the video. Well, sorry it took me a while longer. I was trying to be a little more detailed, but uh, we're at 21 minutes. So uh, that's it. 2006 Hummer H2 limited edition in Pacific Blue, only 500 made with the luxury package and the adventure package. 33,500 miles, one owner. Uh, it's uh, it's a special one. There's there's just uh, there, there there can't be a cleaner 06 out there. Um, anyway, that's it. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I uh, hope you'll give us a call. Take care.